Hey guys, Derek here. And uh, today we're going to talk about processed foods. You know, if you look in your pantry, chances are that you have some processed stuff in there, packaged foods in your freezer, stuff like that. Um, one of the things that I go over with my clients right out of the gate is try to get rid of as much of that stuff as you can out of your pantry. Donate it, whatever you need to do, just get rid of it because that's the stuff that is going to hurt you in getting to your weight loss goals, okay? So let's go through some of this stuff. First of all, what are processed foods? So let's look at this. So <clears throat> historically, we ate food in a natural state. So we ate whole foods. We came out of the ground. We made it in ovens, whatever the case was. We uh, you grew our own meat, so chicken, and beef, and pork, uh, lamb, whatever the case was. And there wasn't a lot of processing to it. When you needed food, you killed it pulled it, cut it, whatever the case was, and you ate it. So you were getting real whole food full of vitamins and minerals and all the stuff that you are supposed to get. Today it's, it's, it's uh, quite different and uh, since the industrialization of the world everything's changed. So basically food is now being canned and it's being prepackaged, dehydrated, refrigerated, frozen, uh, pasteurization, a uh, lot of stuff that you see in the packaging needs preservatives to keep it in that packaging. It's interesting that you can have something on your shelf in a package, not in the fridge, in a package in your pantry, and it can it has an expiry date of you know six years from now. Kind of makes me wonder what the heck is in it. Okay, um, so a lot of stuff has changed. We don't the food that we think we're eating is definitely not the food that we're eating. Okay, so um, just be aware of that. So label claims. This is another big one. Uh, claims of no trans fats, low in carbs, stuff like that, low calorie, whatever the case is, does not make the food healthy. Um, there's a lot of loopholes in packaging laws and rules and a lot of these companies get away with freaking a lot of stuff as far as putting on their packaging, you know, um, that's no trans fats. Well, that's great. There shouldn't be any trans fats in, or low in trans fats or low in carbs. Um, different carbs are not equal. You know, you eat a baked potato and then you eat a donut, they might have a similar carb ratio, but they're different carbs, right? One's going to make you fat, one's got lots of minerals and vitamins and good stuff in it. Okay, so be aware that prepackaged stuff, the packaging might say healthy on it. It's bull, it's crap, doesn't mean it's healthy, okay? Having said that, not all processed food is bad for you. So there are a lot of things that we need to freeze and whatnot for shipping and uh, just being able to keep it because it's, uh, for example, we're in Canada, so our growing season is quite short. So we get stuff from all over the world. So you need, they need to do some things to uh, our veggies and fruits and uh, fish and meats so that we can eat it. So that's uh, freezing it and stuff like that. So it's not all bad for you but there is a lot of stuff that is, okay? So here's what to avoid. Avoid canned foods, okay? Really high in sodium, whatever else they put in there for the canning process. Um, foods with a refined white flour. Basically, white flour is whole wheat flour that's been completely stripped of all its ingredients, all of its good minerals and vitamins and stuff that's good for you, and then they add it back in, and it's nowhere near as good for you. Um, high calorie snack foods, frozen dinners, sugary cereals. Oh my God, cereals are one of the worst on the planet for pulling the wool over your eyes. You look at it and you go, oh God, that sounds good. This is awesome. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's made of oats and all this great stuff. It's crap, most of it, okay? Packaged cookies and processed meats, okay? Any and all processed foods made with saturated fats, trans fats especially, avoid at all costs, and high amounts of sugar and sodium should be avoided at all costs. And uh, even when they taste tantalizing, I mean, these companies spend millions and millions of dollars to make stuff more palatable, taste really good, and make you want to buy it and eat it, okay? So, uh, just stuff for you to be aware of, okay? Let's uh, take a look here at their next one. So, Weight gain, processed food connection. So, why does processed food make you gain weight? Okay, processed foods are uh, low in fiber. Okay, so that's a huge problem right there. Fiber-rich foods such as fruits, veggies, whole grains, keep you satiated or feeling full longer. 
So when you're not not as hungry, you eat fewer calories, and therefore uh, you you are better able to keep on track to losing weight. Makes sense, right? Processed foods also contain gra uh, refined grains. We talked about that. We don't want refined grains, sugars, starches, um, sugar, refined sugar. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It does, there's so many different things it does that is bad for you. Um, for example, refined carbohydrates raise your blood sugar. Okay, when this happens, more insulin is produced. When this, when these carbs aren't burned quickly, the body stores them as fats. So the third thing here is many of these foods are high in calories. Okay, um, the excess calories lead to excess pounds. And remember, a calorie, all calories are not equal, and you have to remember that. So you're getting a calorie count from a whole food, and you're comparing it to the calorie count on a prepackaged food. The calories may be the same but it's the quality of calories that counts, okay? All right, the next one. Oh, big thing here, watch serving sizes, okay? Serving sizes can be very misleading. Um, what a serving size feels like to you in a processed food world may not be the same, okay? So what you're thinking, you know, you eat half a tub of whatever you bought, ice cream, and you think, ah, oh, that's about a portion, that's about eight portions, according to the label. So. All the calories and the sugar content and all the stuff that's in these prepackaged foods is based on a certain portion size that they dictate. So make sure you're aware of that. Check that out. Next, here's a quote from Mary Lou Henner. Research has shown that even small amounts of processed food alter the chemical balance in our brains. Interesting. And cause negative food, sorry, negative food swings, negative mood swings, along with noticeable dips in energy. Okay, when you clean up your diet and you have a lot of whole foods, not a lot of processed stuff, you're going to find your energy levels um, even out, level out. Your mood swings, your moods, your uh, um, the feeling, uh, the good feelings that you have um, are much better. Okay, and uh, that just is something that happens with processed foods. There's so many chemicals and crap that we we don't even know half the stuff that they do. Okay, in some countries stuff is banned, in other countries it's not. It's insane. Okay, best bet stick with whole foods. Weight loss alternative. Let's talk about that. A diet and fewer processed foods will help you maintain a healthy weight. That probably makes sense. It'll also give you more energy and prevent chronic health conditions. Okay? Eat more fresh and whole foods in their natural state. So if you have to prepare it and you have to cook it and you might have to peel it and you might have to chop it and you might have to do these things to get it ready to cook, that's good. If you have to pop it out of a container, put it in the microwave, that's bad. Okay, hope you guys are getting the idea here. I don't mean to simplify it so much, but it's not, it's not more complicated than that. We all have some processed food in our homes. We have busy lives. I, for example, have a, a rug rat who's two and a half, and sometimes we just don't have enough time to get good foods 100% of the time. Stick to it 80% of the time, and you're going to win anyway because you're, you're going to get more vitamins, more minerals, more fiber, all while consuming fewer calories, and uh, fresh food, less sodium, therefore less fat. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And there's another key tip. Know where your, where your food came from. So if you know where your food came from, uh, it's very likely that you're going to have to prepare it. Okay. Let's move on to the next one here. Shopping tip. Okay, so this is huge. I do this with all my clients. I suggest this. So, one, stay away from the center aisles in your grocery store. That's where all the crap is. The pop and the chips and the candy bars and the processed stuff and the packaged stuff. All in the middle. Uh, because they want to, most people buy that stuff. So they want to draw you into the center of the store. Good example. Like it's, it's, it's a business model similar to Ikea. In order to go through Ikea, you got to walk through the entire store just to get to their warehouse to get the product. Brilliant. Grocery stores are no different. They want to attract you to the middle of the store. You see more stuff. You buy more stuff. They make more money. And in the end, you make you gain weight, okay? All the outside aisles have all the whole foods. So your meat, dairy, fruit, and veggies, stick to those aisles as much as possible. If you need spices, stuff like that, those are in the center aisles. If you need coffee, that's in the center aisle. Otherwise, stick to the outside. Never, ever, ever, ever go shopping when you're hungry. And I've done this. If I go shopping when I'm hungry, I am brutal. Because I, you know, I like salty stuff just like anybody else. And man, am I attracted to that stuff when I'm hungry, okay? Make a list, make a plan, and stick to it, okay? Here's an example of the list that is in both my Nutrition Renegade products. It's an authorized food list, 
and it doesn't cover everything and you might be in a different part of the world um, I know I've got clients in uh, uh, India Singapore different areas of the world where this is not going to be as applicable in North America very applicable so add stuff to your list to this list that is a great whole food okay and this by all means is not the end-all be-all so Pause it here if you need to, write this stuff down, do a screenshot of it, whatever you need to do. Uh, drop me an email, bouncelife at gmail.com. Tell me, hey, Derek, can I get a copy of that authorized food list? I'll send it to you. I'd rather you have it and uh, know, it, know what you can do, okay, in the long run. So I hope that makes sense. Let's summarize real quick. Get rid of the processed food as much as possible. Stick to whole foods. You're going to need to plan your days, days differently. You might need to batch cook on Sundays or something like that, like I do. So I have food throughout the day. I don't stop at Tim Hortons or McDonald's and Wendy's and whatever else is handy around me. Subway. You know, everybody thinks Subway is great. It's not. Okay? Story for another day. But you need to plan. You just need to learn what is good for you and what's not. If it's packaged, it's likely not. And watch the portion control. So um, the portions are on every package and that's how they base their calorie count. Okay. Hope that all makes sense. If you have any questions, anything that you um, want me to address, feel free to email me or comment on the video below. Um, that's even better. Like it, send it to friends, share it. This information needs to get out there because these companies are uh, really pulling the wool over your eyes. All right, that's it. Thanks guys. Take care.